The Huawei Pure-X foldable has been making waves, and now we have more details about the chipset that powers this innovative device. If you've been following our updates, you might remember that Huawei recently unveiled the Pure-X, a side-opening foldable phone with a unique 16-10 aspect ratio. But when it was announced, there was one big mystery. What chip is running the show? Well, now we have the answer. After a hands-on session with the device, media reports have confirmed that the Pura-X is powered by the Huawei-designed Kirin 9020 chipset. This revelation comes as no surprise, considering Huawei's recent trend of relying on its in-house Kirin processors. Let's break down the Kirin 9020 specifications. It's an octa-core CPU featuring one Tation Big Core, clocked at 2.5 GHz, three Tation Mid Cores running at 2.15 GHz, and four Cortex, a 510 efficiency cores operating at 1.53 GHz. While the first two types of cores were developed in-house by Huawei's Tessilicon under its Tation brand, the Cortex, a 510 cores come from ARM. Now, this raises an interesting question. How did Huawei get access to ARM's technology despite US sanctions? The answer lies in timing. Huawei was added to the US entity list in 2020, which restricted its access to cutting-edge semiconductor technologies. However, the Cortex, a 510 efficiency core, was already in development by ARM before those restrictions took effect. That's how Huawei managed to include it in the Kirin 9020 without violating any trade bans. Now let's talk about the GPU. The Pure-X features Huawei's in-house Melio 920 GPU. Early reports suggest that while the CPU performance is quite competitive and can rival Qualcomm's flagship chips, the GPU is more in line with mid-range offerings. This means that while general performance and efficiency might be top tier, heavy gaming or graphically demanding tasks might not be as impressive as on other premium flagship devices. But here's where things get even more interesting. Huawei is pushing the boundaries of semiconductor technology despite facing major roadblocks due to US sanctions. Currently, the Kirin 9020 is built on SMIC's 7N N plus 2 node, which is a few generations behind competitors like Apple and Qualcomm, who are already producing 3M chips. The reason for this lag is that Huawei and its MIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, do not have access to extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV machines, a critical technology used for manufacturing advanced chips. However, Huawei is already working on a potential game changer, laser-induced discharge plasma LDP technology. Reports from Dongwan, where Huawei is said to be testing this breakthrough, suggest that the company has successfully replicated the 13.5N wavelength needed to print circuitry patterns onto silicon wafers. If successful, this could allow Huawei to manufacture chips at 3N or even 2N without relying on Western technology. But for now, Huawei remains stuck at 7N, which is still an impressive feat given the challenges they faced. So, what does all of this mean for the Huawei Pura-X? First, it confirms that Huawei is fully committed to self-sufficiency in semiconductor development. Despite sanctions, they are designing their own CPUs and GPUs and pushing forward with advanced manufacturing techniques. Second, the Kirin 9020 might not be a cutting-edge chip compared to the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or Apple's A17 Pro, but it still delivers solid performance, especially in CPU-intensive tasks. The Maliu 920 GPU is a slight weak spot, but for regular users, the Pura X should still provide a smooth and powerful experience. And finally, always work on LDP technology could be a massive turning point in the future of chip making. If they succeed, it could bypass Western restrictions and put them back in the race for top tier silicon. What do you think about Huawei's progress despite all these challenges? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest mobile tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.